If you are a construction company owner or you are in construction in general, these are the things you need to know about workers' comp. Understanding how workers' comp works will save your ass later. The general notice of workers' comp is to protect the employees of a company, to be safe on the, on the job, or if they are injured, to still receive some of the payment they will receive as a worker when they're putting their 40 hours in. Their main service is to make sure that that worker can provide to their family even after getting injured. How does it work for an owner? As an owner of a construction company, you are not covered by workers' comp. A few words, they don't give a shit about you. It's only for the employees. For an owner, it's a great thing to have because if your guys get injured, it's only a portion of their salary you have to pay. Everything else comes from the workers' comp side of things. It happens. Even though we try to create a safe environment, file following all the OSHA regulations and doing all of these other things, some people are going to get hurt on the job. And for some other of your workers, that might be the, their business. We have seen on the past few years an increase, especially after COVID, an increase of people working for six months, getting injured, taking a year off, working for six more months, getting injured again. That's also a business for some of them, but not for most of them. And that's good. If it was everybody, we would all be afraid of hiring people. The reason why we need you to work is because that's how the company makes money. That's how the owner makes money and that's how they can pay you. You can provide for your family, but it's a hard thing to get hurt and not having that income anymore. So work and comp, workers comp becomes a great avenue to have and is the law for the business owners. As a worker, when you get injured on the job, most people say the first phone call should be 911. No, that's your boss's call. Your boss should call 911 when you get hurt. You have to call workers' compensation. Why? Because they have time frames of where you have to call. They're gonna request pictures, videos. How did it happen? Where were you doing? Were you doing the actual scope of work that you were hired to do? Were you helping somebody else? Was it from a ladder? You fell from the stairs? What happened? These are all the questions that they will ask and more because they have to investigate before they release any funds. So you got to make that phone call as soon as possible. Workers' Comp is there to protect you, protect you from the risks that we inquire on the job and sometimes the stupidity of yourself. Sometimes we know how to do it right, but we think it's better doing it somewhere else. Workers' Comp make the determination if it was your fault or it was actually something on the work. As a business owner, you have several options of where to pick your workers' comp. It's nothing different than insurance like State Farm for your car or any other company on that matter. Do your research. Find out which is the company that will give you the better rate. Why? Because that's the only difference they have. They are not gonna protect you more or less to your workers because you pay more or less. Now, as an owner, you always gotta know that these companies are gonna audit you every year. They won't cover you more or less because this is a government agency. Workers Comp is like an insurance that is related to the government as well. So part of the payment comes from them, part of the payment comes from the other ones. So that's why the price vary it. At least that's my understanding of it. As an owner, you gotta know you're gonna get audited every year from Workers Comp. If it's not every year, it's every other year. They're gonna find out how many people under you that are not W2 workers you have had in the company that don't have Workers Comp that now you have to cover. So make sure you get those lien waivers or workers come waivers signed from some of those companies that don't have their workers compensation for themselves or their workers and if you're a worker for a company you're one of those dumb asses who likes to have their modelo while they're at work and they like to do other things that could keep them in pair it's a reason why a lot of companies will do drug testing they want to know ahead of time what are the issues they could encounter when these problems happen if you get injured on the job, workers' comp is nothing but an insurance. They're gonna do their research. They're gonna check what happened and they're gonna check your blood. They're gonna check everything on you to make sure that you were not impaired. Their job is not to pay you, it's only to pay you if you deserve the payment. So if you're drinking on the job and they can prove it, if you're doing any sort of drug and they can prove it, because this is the thing. Everybody thinks, oh, we became legal. We can smoke it all the time. That doesn't mean you can smoke it on the job. It's still just like alcohol. You cannot have it during work hours. It might come out on your blood, but you have to prove that you didn't do it on the job. They are an insurance agency. If you vape, they're gonna figure it out. They're gonna know you're doing it during the day. 
So as a worker, you need to understand that for them, it is their job to look after you, but it's your primary job to look after yourself. I have never been hurt on the job, not because I know how to do my job, it's because I always do the job the most careful way without jeopardizing my health, because that's how I provide for my family. I don't drink when I work. I don't even drink right after work either. It's illegal to drive impaired. It's also illegal to work impaired. You need to understand that it works the exact same way. They just don't call it DUI. They call it, you got fucked. You're not getting paid anymore because you got injured. So that is just some of the stuff that I know about workers comp. As if you are an owner, make sure you have it. It'll save your ass eventually. If you want to hear more about construction tips, please subscribe. And I hope to see you guys on the field.